Earth has a second moon. It's me, provisionally designated. 2016 HO3. Kamu Abrava is thought to be an asteroid, but that may have changed with new facts that we can avoid. I was first spotted in April of 2016 by Pan Stars. Asteroid Survey Telescope You now see This telescope is located on Haleakala In Hawaii Which is all part of the Haleakala Observatory When I was discovered orbiting the Earth in a weird way Kamu'u Alava was the name they gave me even though it is extremely hard to say. I am very small compared to Earth's moon measuring 164 feet across. I'm tiny, it's true. I circle the Earth in a repeating corkscrew-like trajectory. Never closer than 40 to 100 times the 239,000 mile distance of your moon you see. I'm odd and this is why I don't reflect brightly in certain infrared frequencies or to the eye like other asteroids do. I'm a quirky satellite and this is true. Because of this, researchers are starting to agree I may be a chip off your known moon flying free. Basically what you're seeing is a flying silicate caused by micrometeorite impacts in the space environment. It's possible when space rocks hit the moon at a high degree. When I was ejected into space, I am lunar debris. I am a near-Earth object also known as NEO, part of a group of near-Earth asteroids called Apollo. I'm an object in a specific type of co-orbital configuration with a planet. I'm called a quasi-satellite. I know it's weird, but I didn't plan it. Earth has a second moon. It's me, provisionally designated. 2016 HO3. Kamu Abrava is thought to be an asteroid, but that may change with new facts that we can avoid there are 27 moons of planet uranus we're the five largest moons smallest two largest we trust we're the five largest moons of planet uranus the seventh planet in the solar system let's not rush i am miranda also designated uranus 5 and the smallest of the innermost five round satellites i was discovered by gerard kuiper in 1948 at the mcdonald observatory it must have been fate i'm ariel i rotate on uranus's equatorial plate discovered in Discovered at the same time as Ariel by the famous astronomer William Lassell. My surface is the darkest among Uranian moons. I have a lot of impact craters I hope to see more soon. I am the Oberon moon, also called Uranus 4. I'm the outermost major moon of Uranus, that's for sure. I'm the second largest and second most massive of Uranian moons with the size like mine. To see me is opportune. My name's Titania, designated Uranus 3. The largest of Uranian moons and eighth in the solar system. See, 1578 kilometers in diameter IP. In 1787, William Herschel discovered me. There are 27 moons of planet Uranus. We're the five largest moons, smallest, two largest we trust. We're the five largest moons of planet Uranus. The seventh planet in the solar system. Let's
let's not rush There are 27 moons of planet Uranus We're the five largest moons, smallest, two largest we trust We're the five largest moons of planet Uranus The seventh planet in the solar system, let's not rush Here's a moon-sized comparison in our solar system We're happy if you shed some light on us until we are done We're measured by our radius, you'll hear in a bit We'll also tell you the planet in which we orbit My name is Tethys, I'm one of Saturn's 82 moons My radius is 531 kilometers, it is true I am Dion, I orbit Saturn, you do see My radius is 561 kilometers, that is me Ariel is my name, Uranus is what I orbit My radius is 578 kilometers, I'm third on the list I am Umbriel, Uranus is where I'm from my radius is 584 kilometers, I am spun I'm the moon of Sharon, I float in orbit Pluto Radius is 606 kilometers, this I do know I'm Iapetus, a moon of Saturn Radius of 734 kilometers as I turn Oberon is my name, outermost moon of Uranus 761 kilometers is my radius I am Rhea, Saturn's second largest moon Radius of 763 kilometers, see you soon Here's a moon-sized comparison in our solar system We're happy if you shed some light on us until we are done We're measured by our radius, you'll hear in a bit We'll also tell you the planet in which we orbit not Titania, the largest moon of Uranus 788 kilometers is my radius The name is Triton The largest moon of Neptune I'm 1353 kilometers in radius in this tune Europa is frozen and the moon of Jupiter My radius is 1560 kilometers I am the moon of the planet Earth. My radius is 1737 kilometers for what it's worth Hello, I'm Io, the strangest moon of Jupiter With a radius of 1821 kilometers I'm Callisto, I orbit Jupiter, you see My radius is 2410 kilometers, that's all on me Titan is my name, Saturn's my claim to fame 2574 kilometers is my radius I claim I'm gonna meet the largest moon in the solar system Jupiter is what I orbit, yeah that's where I'm from My radius is 2634 kilometers now Let's listen to the chorus while the moons take a bow Here's a moon size comparison in our solar system We're happy if you shed some light on us until we are done we're measured by our radius, you'll hear in a bit We'll also tell you the planet in which we orbit We are the Earth and the Moon And you will learn really it's in our solar system between us this is true we are the earth and the moon we meant to tell you for a while the average distance between us we will explain to you with a smile the average distance between the Earth and the Moon is 382,500 kilometers. Here's the other seven planets fit between us explaining who they are with some cool features. 
I am Mercury, the first planet from the sun. I'm the second hottest planet on my run. My average diameter, we do know, is 4,879 kilometers. Add these up as they are shown. I am Venus, the hottest planet, and the second from the sun. I have an average diameter of 12,104 kilometers in the solar system. Hi, I am Mars, the fourth planet from the sun. You should know. I have an average diameter of 6,771 kilometers as I did show. My name is Jupiter, the largest planet in from the sun. I'm number my average diameter is 139,822 kilometers as I thrive. I'm the planet with the prominent rings, the sixth one called Saturn. My average diameter is 116,464 kilometers while I turn. I am Uranus. I am the seventh planet from the solar system's sun. I have an average diameter of 50,724 kilometers. I'm a frozen one. I am Neptune, the eighth and last planet in the solar system as far as we know. I have an average diameter of 49,244 kilometers, I'm blue as shown. Our total planet diameter size when added up is 380,008 kilometers we share. We still have 2,492 kilometers of space to spare. We are the Earth and the Moon. And you will learn really it's in our solar system between us this is true we are the earth and the moon we meant to tell you for a while the average distance between us we will explain to you with a smile a maki maki i have an official new let me introduce MK2 to all the world and you. Hello, I'm MK2, a satellite of Maki Maki. I was noticed one year ago, now an official moon I be. In the month of April in 2015 is when I was noticed by Hubble's Whitefield Camera 3. The Southwest Research Institute led by Mark Boo. We are the first scientists in the world to ever notice. I'm very hard to see because I'm in the Kuiper Belt And my charcoal colored surface certainly doesn't help As 2015, 13, 64, 72, 1 Is what I was provisionally designated but not much fun They officially nicknamed me with the name MK2 I'll tell you more about me after the chorus you'll hear is through A Maki Maki, I have an official new let me introduce MK2 to all the world and you. Hello, I'm MK2, a satellite of Maki Maki. I was noticed one year ago, now an official moon I be. It's estimated my diameter is 100 miles across. That's an estimate only from a bunch of astronomers. I'm 1300 times more faint than dwarf Maki Maki. When a telescope gets closer, they will see. I'm 13,000 miles from my door planet so bright And I'm called a moon because I'm a natural satellite Maki Maki had what scientists thought were dark warm spots Now they think it was me making those warm dots I'm Maki Maki, I have an official new moon Let me introduce MK2 to all the world and you Hello, I'm MK2, a satellite of Maki I was noticed one year ago, now an official moon I be. A Maki Maki, I have an official new moon. Let me introduce.
SMK2 to all the world and you. Hello, I'm MK2, a satellite of Maki Maki. I was noticed one year ago, now an official moon I be. This is a size comparison of objects in our universe. We'll start with the smallest and go to the largest, most well-known objects we know, of course. I am Ceres. I am a dwarf planet. Maki Maki's a dwarf planet as well, but didn't plan it. I am Haumea, a dwarf planet in this group. Pluto is a dwarf, but used to be a planet, it's true. Aries is a dwarf planet in this mix. The Earth's moon is where your eyes are transfixed. Mercury is here, an official planet. I'm the planet of Mars, I'm sure you all know this. I'm planet Venus, my size you may think is large. Planet Earth is next, and the humans think that they're in charge. Neptune's a planet in our solar system, wow! Planet Uranus is here, I wish I could take a bow. Planet Saturn has rings, if you think I am big. Check out planet Jupiter, I hope you can dig. This is a size comparison of objects in our universe. We'll start with the smallest and go to the largest, most well-known objects we know, of course. I am the sun, a yellow dwarf that isn't far. I am Sirius A, a main sequence star. My name is Pollux, a red giant star, it's true. Arcturus is a red giant star, this I thought you knew. I'm Aldebaran. Red giant star, that's me. Hi, I'm Rigel, a blue white super giant, you see. I am Beetlejuice, and I'm a red super giant in class. I'm in Tories, I'm a red super giant that won't last. VY Canis Majoris, a red hyper giant star. I'm UI Scutai, the biggest red super giant this far. I am the Milky Way galaxy, and you live in me. Now let's all sing the together with glee. This is a size comparison of objects in our universe. We'll start with the smallest and go to the largest, most well-known objects we know, of course. This is a size comparison of objects in our universe. We'll start with the smallest and go to the largest, most well-known objects we know, of course.
tides that we see change 238,900 miles from the earth Is the distance measured when the first spaceship landed on my turf The reason you see one half of my surface all the time Is because my rotation's the same speed as the earth taught in this rhyme It takes 27 Earth days for me to rotate once around There is no air on my surface so you won't hear any sound On the moon, Earth's natural satellite I rotate the same speed as the Earth and I'm a natural source of light On the moon, my appearance is gray and white You only see one half of my surface whether it's day or night Here's a theory of how the Earth was formed So scientists would say This interstellar journey will show you The role gravity had played Almost 5 billion years ago There was only our sun Which was a newborn star Surrounded by dust was how it begun Over time this dust began to slam into one another Due to gravity pulling it in As it smashed into each other The planet that we live on was made Space dust and rocks that formed Earth over millions of years into an orb, not a box. They say four and a half billion years ago, Earth was a fireball. That's right, with surface temperatures over 2,000 degrees and Fahrenheit. At this point, there was no air, just carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and water vapor, making it hot and toxic when the Earth began. Our boiling ball of liquid rock was slammed by a young planet. This planet's name was Thea. It was the size of Mars as you see it. The blast wave from this collision sent trillions of tons of debris, which over time was pulled back in to circle the Earth by gravity. This giant ring around the Earth was made of red hot dust and rock. Eventually formed our moon. We see today, I know it's a shock. Let's speed up millions of years to see how water formed. About 3.9 billion years ago, Earth was hit by a meteor storm inside each meteor scientists think there were small crystals each crystal held tiny droplets of water inside their shells over the 20 million years that these meteors fell pools of water started to form on the cooling crust i do tell no water on our earth is billions of years old now you see and may have traveled millions of miles to be consumed by you and me let's speed up hundreds of millions of years to find the earth covered in water with tiny islands peeking out while the core remained much hotter this hot core pushes molten rock up and out the earth's new crust when the lava cools it forms the land we know as it builds and thrusts over time these land masses start to collide and eventually form our continents we know today do still transform here's a theory of how the earth was so scientists would say this interstellar journey will show you the role gravity had played how did earth get its atmosphere we have today there are three basic atmospheric hypotheses still used to this day the first atmosphere was made up of hydrogen and helium gas these molecules move so fast they escape earth's gravity into space at last the second was made of lots of volcanoes releasing water as steam and carbon dioxide hydrogen sulfate ammonia and methane science agreed the third and current atmosphere is made up of this you will see plants take in carbon dioxide and give up oxygen to you and me all animals take in oxygen and give up co2 also volcanoes and burning stuff produces this like fossil fuel we burn too many fossil fuels and have too many factory farms All this carbon dioxide we produce is doing our earth harm It's up to us to change the way we consume and create energy If you start to make changes now our planet will change you will see Please do your part to save the earth to improve your future now We're capable of change go make us all proud Here's a theory of how the earth was formed so science would say this interstellar journey will show you the role gravity had played you're so smart and important so believe in what you can do make a change and set the stage in earth's future for you i am saturn the sixth planet from the sun i'm known for my rings by everyone i'm the second largest planet in our solar system Come sing along until my teachings are done Out of my six 
62 moons, 53 are named. I am a gas giant, all astronomers claim. 36,184 is my radius and miles for you to explore. 10.44 meters, that's per second you drop. That's my gravity pulling towards my surface top. 10 hours and 39 minutes long is a day on my surface. Let's sing this song. I am Saturn, the sixth planet from the sun. I'm known for my rings by everyone. I'm the second largest planet in our solar system. Please come sing along until my teachings are done. Takes 29 years for me to orbit the sun. And my rings are made up of rock and icy chunks. 886 million miles away is my distance from the sun. That is why I'm Chile. Hydrogen and helium are what I'm mostly made of. And my atmosphere from the surface above. 26.7 is the amount of degrees to spin on my axis. I'm so cold that you freeze. I am Saturn, the sixth planet from the sun. I'm known for my rings by everyone. I'm the second largest planet in our solar system. Please come sing along until my teachings are done. I am Saturn, the sixth planet from the sun. I'm known for my rings by everyone. I'm the second largest planet in our solar system. Please come sing along.
My name is Jupiter, the biggest planet you see. No planet in our solar system is bigger than me. My name is Jupiter, a windy planet I be. And I have 67 moons that rotate round me so free. The Romans gave me my name after their king of the gods because my size is so massive in the sea of the stars. Colors to Europa, got a meeting. Galileo, I'm the fastest spinning planet in our solar system. Ten hours equals one day. My days as short as they come. It takes twelve Earth years for me to warm at the sun. That makes one year on my surface. That's a really long run. My name is Jupiter, the biggest planet you see. No planet in our solar system is bigger than me. My name is Jupiter. system is bigger than me. My name is Jupiter, a windy planet I be, and I have 67 moons that rotate round me so free. If I were 80 times more massive, I would have become a star, because I'm made of the same elements as the sun, how bizarre. That much mass would cause a pressure and temperature within me to cause hydrogen to fuse with helium, creating energy. My gravity times more than Earth, so what does that mean? Weighing a hundred pounds on Earth is 240 pounds on me. My name is Jupiter, the biggest planet you see. No planet in our solar system is bigger than me. My name is Jupiter, a windy planet I be. And I have 67 moons that rotate around me so free. solar system in order from the sun we're the five dwarf planets according to the iau we're the only ones my name is ceres i'm the smallest dwarf planet and the closest dwarf to the sun i'm the largest object in the asteroid belt between mars and jupiter i run Scientists think my bright spots are salty deposits made of sodium carbonate and ammonium chloride. I'm the only dwarf planet in the inner solar system and my surface is completely dry. Hello, I'm Pluto. I used to be the ninth planet in the solar system planetary mix. But when Eries was discovered, it had 27% more mass. The IAU demoted me in 2006. I've since been a tour planet in your solar system and have five moons that orbit me so nice. I'm about to have a rocky core, which is surrounded by a mantle of water ice. We're the five dwarf planets of the solar system in order from the sun. We're the five dwarf planets. According to the IAU, we're the only ones. I'm Haumea. I am a dwarf planet and was discovered in 2004 at the Palomar Observatory by astronomer Mike Brown. And I have two moons, now here's some more. 
My elongated shape is thought to be because the fast rotations that I make. Located in the Kuiper Belt outside the orbit of Neptune and the third closest orb to the sun for goodness sake. I'm Maki Maki, the fourth dwarf planet from the sun, also located in the Kuiper Belt you see. Discovered in 2005 by Mike Brown and his team at the Palomar Observatory. I have one provisional moon, its name is MK2, it's about 13,000 miles from me. I appear to be reddish brown in color, but I'm so far away that you can barely see. My name is Eries, I'm in the Kuiper Belt, I'm the fifth dwarf planet from the sun. I have one known moon, it's named Dysnomia. Its orbit lasts about 16 days on its run. I'm the most massive, but the second largest dwarf planet after Pluto in the solar system. If you want to learn more about us individually, watch all of Kids Learning to Planet videos at once. We're the five dwarf planets of the solar system in order from the sun. We're the five dwarf planets. According to the IAU, we're the only ones. I'm a hypothetical planet, they call me Planet Nine. In the outer solar system, you may notice me in time. I'm a hypothetical planet, they call me Planet Nine. I orbit your sun, when I'm discovered I'll make headlines. I have yet to be discovered, astronomers search for me. That's the reason I'm a hypothetical planet, you see. Astronomers think I am in the outer solar system. I spin beyond Neptune's orbit, that's where they think I've been. The reason astronomers think that I do exist because of clustering extreme trans-Neptunian objects that orbit. They think on average I orbit the sun 250 times that of the Earth, but no one knows until me they find. Constantine, Batygin, and Michael E. Brown think I could be the core of a giant planet that used to be around. They think my original orbit used to be by Jupiter during the genesis of the solar system, then ejected they sure. As of May 2020, there's no observation of Planet Nine, but they have not ruled out my existence. They might find me in time. Why field infrared survey, explorer survey space, looking for me in the outer solar system, but still haven't found a trace. I'm a hypothetical planet, they call me Planet Nine. In the outer solar system, you may notice me in time. I'm a hypothetical planet, they call me Planet Nine. I orbit your sun when I'm discovered, I'll make headlines. My semi-major axis is 4 to 800 AU. AU means astronomical units in this lesson I teach you. My Earth mass is thought to be between 5 to 10. 15 to 25 degrees is my orbital inclination. After the discovery of Neptune in 1846, there's been speculation of another planet that might exist. Maybe you'll become an astronomer and be the first to discover me. But until then, I'll be hypothetical planet, you see. I'm a hypothetical planet, they call me Planet Nine. In the outer solar system, you may notice me in time. I'm a hypothetical planet, they call me Planet Nine. I orbit your sun, when I'm discovered, I'll make headlines. I'm a hypothetical planet, they call me Planet Nine. In the outer solar system, you may notice me in time. I'm a hypothetical planet, they call me Planet Nine. I orbit your sun, when I'm discovered, I'll make headlines. I'm the largest satellite in the solar system seen. I orbit Jupiter, my name is Ganymede. Larger than Mercury, Pluto, and slightly smaller than Mars. I'd be classified as a planet if I orbited our star. Let me introduce myself, I'm Ganymede. I orbit Jupiter, come and learn all about me. 
Out of all the known moons in the solar system I am the largest by far until a larger moon comes I was discovered by Galileo Galilei In the year of 1610 in January If I orbited the sun instead of Jupiter I'd be considered a planet by the IAU for sure I am larger than Pluto and our planet Mercury And I'm slightly smaller than Mars As you can see, I do have an iron rich liquid core I'm made of equal amounts of silicate rock and water there is more I have an eternal ocean that may contain much more water than all Earth's oceans combined but no one knows for sure I'm the only moon known to have its own magnetic field I'm the ninth largest object in the solar system for real I'm the largest satellite in the solar system seen I orbit Jupiter my name is Ganymede Larger than Mercury, Pluto, and slightly smaller than Mars I'd be classified as a planet if I orbited our star My diameter is 3,273 miles I'm 26% larger than Mercury by volume with style It takes me roughly 7 days to orbit Jupiter at 665,000 miles, I assure I'm around the same age as my planet, Jupiter I'm 4.5 billion years old, I'm very mature Let's take a look inside and cut away my layers here Polar frost covers my surface, it did just appear Under my hexagonal ice, you'll find my saltwater ocean Then the tetragonal ice and rocky mantle within This is my iron and iron sulfate liquid core Followed by an iron core that's solid, you want facts, here some more I'm the largest satellite in the solar system seen I orbit Jupiter, my name is Ganymede Larger than Mercury, Pluto, and slightly smaller than Mars I'd be classified as a planet if I orbited our star I'm the largest satellite in the solar system seen I orbit Jupiter, my name is Ganymede Larger than Mercury, Pluto, and slightly smaller than Mars I'd be classified as a planet if I orbited our star Did you know the place you call home is a habitable place in space called the Goldilocks Zone? It's a place in space, a certain distance from our star, where liquid water could be found. Guess what? It's where you are. Goldilocks Zone is a habitable zone In an area around a star you know The zone is not too hot And it's not too cold For liquid water to exist so life can grow There is only one planet we know so far That is teeming with life, of course That planet that we're sure can sustain real life Has a well-known name it is the Earth If the Earth were to move as far as Pluto The sun would be the size of a pea The oceans and atmosphere on Earth Would immediately freeze But if Earth moved to the position of planet Mercury the Earth's water would quickly boil away There would be no more life you see The Goldilocks Zone is a habitable place Where Earth sits from the sun Allowing water to stay liquid Liquid water's the source of life That's how life on Earth begun Stars come in different sizes, masses, and temperatures throughout space Size and temperature of a star determines the Goldilocks Zone's place Stars that are smaller and much cooler than the sun Have a habitable zone much closer to their star on its run Stars that are hotter, much larger, and more massive than the sun Have their habitable zone much farther This concludes our fun Did you know? The place you call home 
is a habitable place in space called the Goldilocks Zone. It's a place in space, a certain distance from our star, where liquid water could be found. Guess what? It's where you are. I'm 20,000 Varuna, I'm here to teach you correct I was classified as a trans-Neptunian object I'm 20,000 Varuna, you can call me Varuna for short I am oval in shape, and I'm here to teach and report My name is 20,000 Varuna, I'm sure your eyes are transfixed My provisional designation's 2000 WR106 I was discovered in December in the year of 2000 By American astronomer Robert S. McMillan During a space watch at KPNO I have an elongated shape Due to my rapid rotation as shown I was named after the Hindu deity Varuna is my name Please say it back to me I'm 20,000 Varuna I'm here to teach you correct I was classified as a trans-Neptunian object I'm 20,000 Varuna You can call me Varuna for short I am oval in shape And I'm here to teach and report I'm a possible dwarf planet located in the Kuiper Belt In the outer solar system is where my presence is felt Info from my light curve says I'm a Jacobi ellipsoid My elongated shapes due to my rapid rotation among the asteroids My rapid rotation period is 6.34 hours January 2001 is when it was first measured The color of my surface is moderately red due to the complex organic compounds astronomers said water ice is thought to be present on my surface because of past collisions i was exposed now you're learning this no natural satellites have been recorded around me yet but in 2019 i may have a satellite astronomer suggest i'm 20,000 varuna i'm here to teach you correct i was classified as a trans-neptunian object i'm 20,000 varuna you can call me varuna for short i am oval in shape and i'm here to teach and report <laughs> I'm an extrasolar planet named 51 Pegasi B Discovered in 1995 at Oak Province Observatory I'm an extrasolar planet named 51 Pegasi B I am formally named Dimidium Yeah, that is me. I was the first exoplanet orbiting a main sequence star. 51 Pegasi is my star's name. I know it sounds bizarre. I'm the prototype for a class of planets called Hot Jupiters. I'm 1850 degrees Fahrenheit Measured by astronomers I was first discovered In the year of 1995 At the Hope Province Observatory With their eye tip towards the sky The astronomers who discovered me I will tell you Song. They are Michelle Mayer and Didier Quillos. They are headstrong. My discovery had won these men a Nobel Prize in Physics. There was nothing to be said about them by their critics. My Jupiter mass is a round. 
six. That's my unit of mass equal to the total mass of Jupiter, the planet. I'm located 50 light years from the constellation Pegasus. You need a very large telescope to see me. This you can trust. In 2015, the IAU announced my chosen name without a laugh. They named me Dimidium, which is an adverb meaning by half. Dimidium is my name because my mass is almost half of Jupiter's. Since my discovery, lots of exoplanets have been discovered. I am much closer to my star than Mercury is to your sun. That is why I'm so hot. Yeah. Well, I am spun. My orbital speed is in miles per hour, 304,000. Now that's a lot of great power. I am thought to be tidally locked to my host star. Much like the moon is to your Earth, but not as far. I'm an extrasolar planet named 51. Pegasus IB discovered in 1995 at Oak Province Observatory. I'm an extrasolar planet named 51 Pegasus IB. I am formally named Dimidium. Yeah, that is me. Side 
orbit of my host star named Copernicus. Here's what they know about me this far. Earth has a second moon, it's me, provisionally designated, 2016 HO3, Kamu Avrava is thought to be an asteroid, but that may have changed with new facts that we can avoid. I was first spotted in April of 2016, by Pan Stars. Asteroid Survey Telescope You now see This telescope is located on Haleakala In Hawaii Which is all part of the Haleakala Observatory When I was discovered orbiting the Earth in a weird way Kamu'u Alava was the name they gave me even though it is extremely hard to say. I am very small compared to Earth's moon measuring 164 feet across. I'm tiny, it's true. I circle the Earth in a repeating corkscrew-like trajectory. Never closer than 40 to 100 times the 239,000 mile distance of your moon you see. I'm odd and this is why I don't reflect brightly in certain infrared frequencies or to the eye Like other asteroids do I'm a quirky satellite and this is true Because of this researchers are starting to agree I may be a chip off your known moon flying free Basically what you're seeing is a flying silicate caused by micrometeorite impacts in the space environment. It's possible when space rocks hit the moon at a high degree. When I was ejected into space, I am lunar debris. I am a near-Earth object also known as NEO, part of a group of near-Earth asteroids called Apollo. I'm an object in a specific type of core orbital configuration with a planet. I'm called a quasi satellite. I know it's weird, but I didn't plan it. Earth has a second moon. It's me, provisionally designated. 2016 HO3. Kamu Avrava is thought to be an asteroid, but that may change with new facts that we can avoid there are 27 moons of planet uranus we're the five largest moons smallest two largest we trust we're the five largest moons of planet uranus the seventh planet in the solar system, let's not rush. I am Miranda, also designated Uranus 5, and the smallest of the innermost five round satellites. I was discovered by Gerard Kuiper in 1948 at the McDonald Observatory. It must have been fate. I'm Ariel, I rotate on Uranus's equatorial plate. Discovered in 1851 by William Lasso as I I'm the fourth largest of Uranus's 27 moons Maybe someday you'll become an astronomer So I will see you soon I'm Umbriel Discovered at the same time as Ariel By the famous astronomer William Lassell My surface is the darkest among Uranian moons I have a lot of impact craters I hope to see more soon I am the Oberon moon Also called Uranus major moon of Uranus, that's for sure. I'm the second largest and second most massive of Uranian moons with a size like mine. To see me is opportune. My name's Titania, designated Uranus 3. The largest of Uranian moons and eighth in the solar system. See, 1578 kilometers in diameter IP. In 1787, William Herschel discovered me. There are 27 moons of 
planet Uranus. We're the five largest moons, smallest, two largest we trust. We're the five largest moons of planet Uranus. The seventh planet in the solar system, let's not rush. There are 27 moons of planet Uranus. We're the five largest moons, smallest, two largest we trust. We're the five largest moons of planet Uranus. The seventh planet in the solar system, let's not rush.